Prenatal substance exposure occurs when a developing fetus is affected by a substance used by a pregnant woman. These substances may be legal or illegal. Legal substances that affect the fetus include alcohol, tobacco, THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, and medically managed prescription drugs like methadone and antidepressants. Misuse of prescribed medications is illegal and can also affect the fetus. Frequently misused medications might include opioids, depressants such as barbiturates and benzodiazepines, and stimulants like amphetamines. Pregnant women may also use illegal substances that affect prenatal development. These substances include heroin, stimulants such as methamphetamine and cocaine, and hallucinogens such as LSD, mushrooms, and ecstasy. What do we know about the prevalence of prenatal substance exposure? Research on the subject can be complicated by multiple variables, but in general, here's what the national data tell us. Alcohol and cigarettes are the most commonly used substances during pregnancy. More than one in five women, 20.9%, use alcohol during the first trimester. Approximately 7% of pregnant women binge drink during the first trimester, meaning they have five or more drinks on the same occasion. As pregnancy progresses, alcohol use tapers sharply for most women. But 4.9% continue to drink even after they know they're pregnant. Use of illicit drugs follows a similar pattern. Use declines from about 9% in the first trimester to 2% in the third trimester. One important difference is cigarette use. Overall, cigarette use does decrease during pregnancy. However, while cigarette use drops from the first trimester to the second, it increases in the third trimester, with just over 12% of pregnant women still using cigarettes. National data show that pregnant women use substances less frequently than non-pregnant women. In contrast, pregnant teens, aged 15 to 17, use substances more than their non-pregnant peers. Finally, although substance use generally decreases throughout pregnancy, it rebounds by three months after delivery. Afterward, it increases to pre-pregnancy levels. You can learn more about this national data in the Handouts tab at the top right of your screen. Now, we'll look at the prevalence and impacts of prenatal substance use in Colorado. Select Next to continue your learning.